I'm keeping my eyes closed, I'm keeping okay. my eyes closed. You can open them. Oh, good darling. Ceiling height. It's very romantic. Thank you. This is the Thank nicest you. thing you've ever done for me. No. Oh, look at this. It's one of them. We're going to get thrown out of this. But maybe I, I, oh, you might be okay. It's in here. Is it? Okay. Look, we'll settle up at the end. Please, exercise restraint. Nice sure. to meet you. Hi. Adam, nice to meet you. Adam. Everything okay? So far, good. Yeah. Please, don't ever. <laughs> wow. That's, that's no good. That's no good. What happened there? I don't know. Is that Everything okay? To do with the sweets. I think this just called a sniper. I farted. <laughs> wow. Well, that was exciting. Three turns. Well, so let's yes. go and yeah. check in. Let's check in. Well, these tassels are quite good for swatting flies away. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Donkey in a field. That's racist, isn't it? Mm, it's borderline. I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm walking. God so, damn it. Yes. Well, here we are. What? Where in, are we here? We're in the custard tart district the tart. of Lisbon. The tart district. Called Belém, my favourite. I think. We'll go to the takeaway. Oh, so sorry. No, no, it's sorry, okay. mate. Oh. I just Did he blow his shot? I trashed the guy's shot. Oh. Custard tarts. These custard tarts are real. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. People are going nuts for these tarts. What's they're, so special they're about crazy. them? crazy. Secret recipe from 1837. Hello. And um, could we get six custard tarts, please? And do you want some? See what I did. Six. Do you want? Please. I'm here all week. Only six people know the recipe. Three chefs. Thank you. We have to wait over. Three chefs and three owners, and they're not allowed to go on a plane at the same time. Is that true? It is true. Would I lie to you? Righty, right. Okay. Give me yeah. some tarts. Okay. I want some tarts. There Give me go. custard tart. Go. Oh my god. There's two. Oh my gosh. Okay, you... Okay, I'll have this one. Here we go. How do we do this? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. I need to steep them. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what happened? It went straight. I'm joking. It was delicious. That's good, man. It's good. The custard tart is so good. It is good. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I don't remember that shaggy song. Do you, do you not? No. Custard tart. Custard tarts. Custard tart. Custard tart. Give me custard tart. That didn't chart, did it? Custard tart, it did not chart. OK. Can we, um... Yeah. Yeah. Adam, have you uh, packed your broken doll? Sure, yeah, you asked me to uh, to bring it. Bring a doll, so I've had it stuffed down my pants for the last That's why we were held up in security yeah, so long. Sure. Hey! This is the Hospital de Buneca. The so doll hospital. Oldest in the world, founded 1830. Get in the door. Okay, so this is the outpatients unit. Yes. It seems to skew female. That's a doll that you don't want to put in the corner of a child's room. No. That seems unfair. No child is asking for that doll. That Can I have doll... a tiny shrunken grandma to watch me? <laughs> that doll comes with, with this sound. Hang on, look, I've got a face to go with that. Is it the same as your face? <laughs> <laughs> is your face hidden in your polo shirt? No. I'm waiting for the finale. <laughs> I need an arc. I need an arc in this performance. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's good. Oh, mate. Oh, that's a good... Just a big old crater babies. <laughs> Down just here, Just them yeah. all in the box. Oh, look. Adele. <laughs> and, uh, look at all those... Barbies caught in a net in Whoa. there. Like their tuna. That is massively weird. I well, don't even know where you get to that. That's not cool because a lot of those are endangered. 
Yeah. He hasn't been to hospital, has he? Or is that the best they could do? Frostbite. It's frostbite, isn't it? Look at his poor fingers. He um, was with Shackleton and didn't make it. Let's Ooh. move. Not a creepy business. Were you ever a doll man? I still am. No. I... no. You never had, like, action men or anything like that? Oh, no. No, he didn't have action men. I'm an only child. What does that mean? You, you can't you're, do you're somebody else's action man. Don't you need a group? Someone's got to animate that, and otherwise you're kind of... No, because you, that's sit, a breakdown. There, you sit there on your own and you <laughs> get the dolls and you say, Hello, why, why, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? You can, those other conversations are available, but... Yeah. That's, do you never do any of that? I mean, obviously, you know, I often, I did have some breakdowns like that, but that was later. I had something approaching a career with dolls in the... Late 90s. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ten, no, 20 years ago. That was a cruel adjustment, wasn't it? Ten, actually, let's go to full <laughs> confession. 79 years ago. 79 years ago. These would all have been coming back with me in my backpack. Come on. Now, only half of them will. Adam, what did you think of this? Thank you, Richard, for bringing me here. I loved it so much. Oh, thank you! Oh, sweet. Are we going up the giant tower? Yeah, that's Look right. Look at the size of the queue. We have to join it. Oh, come on. I know you're used to skipping to the VIP. Yeah. How do you feel about heights? I'm not comfortable. So the banter's going to get strained when we get to the top, isn't it? Well, my flow may be interrupted. <laughs> What about you? No, I've got nothing. You're OK? Uh, as in, I don't have any phobias, but I've got no banter. Come, please. Don't force me into a compliment. All right, then. Hey. Come on. This is too high. Whoa. This is too high for Look school. Look at that. Castle Ultra Bulk. Ultra Bulk. That's my shipment of male sanitary products. Oi. Do you, do you feel a bit... Um... I feel crippled with terror. Do you, really? It's, it feels... I don't... It just doesn't... This isn't enough to protect me from falling. I feel like the king of the world. Feels thin, like Leo. I don't think people are meant to be this high up. No, this it's is a right. good height. Oh, I feel as oh. if I'm in... I mean, I am in Lisbon, but I feel as if I'm in a kind of IMAX Lisbon. It's a lot. It's like it's, real life almost. It's a lot for your eyeballs to drink in. I'm really falling in love with it. It's only been a few hours, and I'm already... Are uh, you about to tell me you love me? I was going to say I love Lisbon. Same thing. I was going to use the phrase... Who I'm, are you with? I'm a lesbian. Come now. Let's descend. All right. I think we've already descended quite far. <laughs> I know. It's mainly my fault. Come on. Wow, those guys were off the hook. <laughs> They're probably heading what to... What are they like? Liqueur Town. we we'll best get... get into the shop before they frickin' drain it. Why are we here? Hello. Well, Good morning. Hello. Good morning. That could apply at any time, that question. OK. We're here to have alcohol in the morning, which apparently people here do. It's only 9 a.m. I know. You have to sound slightly slurry okay. to say it. Dos gingines, por favor. Dos gingines, con sei, con sei ounces. Yeah, that one. Did you ask the gingines? The fruit, yeah. The way you poured that is a way which suggests that people have said, oh, whoa, keep going, <laughs> keep, keep, keep going. going. <laughs> that is not full. Until it is over the top of the glass, I'm not happy. Is it OK to lick the tabletop afterwards? Yeah, oh that's, that's, wow. that's very, very good to okay. the wood. That's very full. So we don't we don't knock it. No, back. don't drink like a shot. Yeah, no, no, slowly no. taste it and to finish it, the fruit. Okay. The power is in the fruit. Okay. The power. Fruit. The power is in the fruit. <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado. Salud. Okay. In Portuguese we say salud. Salud. So, yeah. Salud. It's like a cheers. Right. To better times. You're dripping I'm, a lot. It's of your... so full. I can't. This is. We need to take these outside. Oh yeah, we go outside. Wow. 
And if someone's drinking this in the morning, I don't think it's fair to fill up the glass that much. Their hand's probably already a little... Wobbly. Are you eating breakfast before you have this? No, 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 this is before breakfast. This is pre-solids yeah. crumbs. Yeah, <laughs> that's the taste of I'm not going to make it through to lunch. <laughs> wow. Mm. That is very, I, I would call it smooth. I'd say that's very sweet and quite heady. I need to get through the day at pace. We're getting the head shake from the guy in the car over there. Mate. A slow head shake. Get out your car. A judgment. Come and have some cherry booze. Don't, don't judge this. And just relax. Yeah. All you need to do is say, <laughs> and then you can be part of the club. You'd worry if we were in surgical gowns. <laughs> you know, I bet some people do. I bet you there's some professionals. Some surgeons. Who, yeah, sure. Steady the hand. Steady the hand. It does taste medicinal. Mm. Now there's, yeah. Georgienis, 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 Georgienis. Yeah. Georgienis. It's good. Fine. Every. They all sound so slurry. You can't tell who's sober, yeah. who isn't. These I think guys, they've adopted they it as a defence. What did they say? We or we doubt. Oh. Oh, they. Without. And we wow. should have said con. We should have said. Oh, excuse me, say with Alice. With Alice. Coalice. 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 So essentially, everyone sounds a bit like Rude Hullet here. <laughs> You're not down to your. Um... I can't. Come on. It's the morning. Do you want some of this? Yeah, I'll have yours after mine. Okay. I can't have this. I'll start to try and climb up the wall. What are you, some kind of professional? I, I'm nearly 50. It's fine for me to be drinking on the street before 9 a.m. It's fine. You're on the slow slide <laughs> to the end. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my zhuzh zhuzh zhuzh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. One, two. Oh, mate. There we go. That's okay. fine. I can cope. I was I, just about to, Look, you've got to have your fruit Okay. Now. I mean, it's too much. It's not enough. This is pre-my McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> Okay, now you must eat the fruits. No, I must eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. Who are you, the serpent? And the metal, you spit the seeds. Okay, and then I'm out of the Garden of Eden, yeah. right? Yeah, we've seen this before. Good. This is a strange kind of Western. <laughs> this is some kind of Jodorowsky Western. And then where I have to spit my cherry stone into your mouth. Into my mouth. And then you become a crab and go. <laughs> waste. There we go. Well, this is one of my finest hours. <laughs> you and know I just I... returned that. I mean, I feel I'm in pieces. Right. Thank you. Obrigado. It's very nice. Obrigado. Um, I just wish it were shortly before my bedtime. I'd like it to be 8 p.m. and I like to be lying down on a pillow. Not on a bed, just a massive pillow. Mm -hmm. I love a ciggy. <laughs> You're in bits. <laughs> Tell me about your childhood. How's that? Jujinju? <coughs> ah. Oh, I can't wait to get to the age where I just wear all one colour. You get to a certain age and you just go, I'm in maroon now. Everything's maroon. <laughs> or lime green. I'm having my fruit now. Also, quite competitively priced. One euro forty. Yeah. What's the alcoholic strength of this then? 23%. That's nothing. What's happened to you? 23% before breakfast is fine. Look, if it was sort of 70, then then you've got some... 70? Jejin? Jejinish. 70% is what That's you use much. to remove acrylic. Exactly. No one's suggesting you should have that before breakfast. OK. But 23, yes. I'm going to take your glass back. That's, well, that's one, your limit. One more. That's your limit. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Adam, come on. I'm going to spit my Spit stones. your cherry and... See if I can go. Hang on. Let's create a BAFTA clip. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a low moment. <laughs> Let's leave frame. All right. I'll meet you at the other side of this table. All right, then.
Here we go. All right, Jimmy Facts. Yes. Well, in this square, the revolution of 1974 started in April. Was it televised? It wasn't televised, despite... Where are you going? I don't know. Don't just wander off in the middle of my fact rundown. Come on, then. April 1974. Yep. A peaceful coup. Bloodless. After 50 years yeah. of, you know, dictatorship. The signal for the revolution was the Portuguese entry in the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh! Who was the guy who did it? Paulo de Caballo. Paulo de Caballo. That Remember means... Him? Does it? I think that means horse Paul. Horsey Paul. Yeah. Are you able to do an approximation of Horsey Paul's Eurovision entry? And after the farewell. Is that what it's called? It certainly is. I wouldn't dare try and do it a cappella. Did it, it was go? It's very complex. Would it be disrespectful, do you think? I, I think there's a good chance. What about if you did it like this? Come on, let's have a revolution. We meet you in the square and the goal to change things around with a bloodless coup. Come on, it's going to be fun. He wasn't Bjork's uncle. Well, you do it then. I'm, I'm not doing it out of respect for what they achieved, for what they built in 1974 in April. Now I'm frightened of the guards over there. Yes. I think they heard that. They heard that weird Cockney nightmare. It's not Cockney, it's Portuguese. Was it? was it Portuguese? Yeah. How did the song go again? <laughs> how did, how'd it go? She told me not to do it again. The director just said, don't do the song again. OK. How did the... But I've forgotten how the song goes exactly. <laughs> Come on, let's have a revolution. We'll meet in the town square, it's nice. And we're gonna have a bloodless call. Come on! I'm not so sure that you've quite nailed it. You need to do a tiny bit more before Come you can. Come on, let's have a revolution. We'll meet in the square, it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna, um, go and seek professional. If you're not counseling. interested in history, then no, that's no. your lookout. No, okay. Well, hey, look at this guy. This is a pilgrimage I've waited a long time to make. 16th century Portuguese satirist. Antonio Ribeiro Chardo. Yeah. Yeah, busting rhymes. Really undermining the establishment back then, like a one man Radio 4 panel show. Yeah. I've been spinning rhymes in the 16th century, and now I'm sat in the middle of city, sitting, uh, sitting cool here on my plinth, like the artist formerly known as Plinth. I wonder where our statues will be situated. Okay. You. You want to go here? Sure. This is nice. Hey, look, there's no glass. Oh. <laughs> That's not right. Do you like these kind of things? Trams? Yeah. I'm always on a tram. Are you? Yeah. I got a tram to this tram. <laughs> it's so nice not to have the glass here, just to hang out. I could high five someone if I wanted. Someone on another tram? Yeah. That could end in bloody tears. Come on, I'm going to try it. I could high five someone in this house. I, I don't see why there aren't more people lining up to high five you. It's as if they don't know about your scheme. Yeah. Him. I am going to get a high five. I think what's going to happen is you're going to assault someone. <laughs> so he get... wants a high five. Go on. High five. No. Looked away. The problem is it just looks like you're doing a Nazi salute from a tram. That is not... Don't get all... It's not like... Well, I'm just saying be careful about the signals you send out. All right. I mean, they've just got over a dictatorship.